This month on the Violin Vlog, it's time to dive back into an old project I started long ago. In awe of the accomplishments of YouTube pioneers who stitched together rather impressive recordings of famous tunes using only their own voices or single instruments, I thought that would be pretty cool to try. And I made a few good efforts, a couple of which I'm still happy with to this day. I thought of this idea in different ways, the surfing violinist orchestra or the one-man symphony, but I treated it as more of a pastime and never gave the idea the time to develop that it deserved. So today on the Violin Vlog, it's time to get the ball rolling again. It's time to bring the surfing violinist's vision for some small screen philharmonic bombast back to life. So before we went to India, I used to work at a music store called Playground Music Center in downtown Panama City. I worked the register, taught some violin lessons, and even managed the local store's YouTube channel and social media presence. As with all Ford endeavors, the reaction to some of the geekiness and enthusiasm on display was mixed, and I'm not sure if my marketing efforts really returned much value. One of our videos did achieve a bit of niche notoriety and everyone was a good sport with my absurd ideas. And sometimes we speak like Zarathustra. I had one idea that really captivated me and I just couldn't shake it. I was going to write an overture listing every single item we had in our inventory in a sort of epic chorale piece called Epic Inventory, very creatively titled. I listed out every item we had on display, arranged them in some kind of rhythmic order, and gave them melodies. But I couldn't sing, and as it turned out, I didn't even write the ranges for the choral parts correctly, so it would have been impossible to sing it as I had written it. Time went by, the idea collected dust, and I moved on. At the time, Toby Turner was just starting out on YouTube, and I had met him at a film shoot in Panama City Beach back when the spring breaks in our area were a thing of legend. We kept in touch a bit and he remembered me after he skyrocketed into online fame. I wrote his coattails a bit with covers of his theme song and a few remixes of songs or videos he featured on his channel. One day while I was in India, Toby released a song that went viral called Nugget in a Biscuit. As silly an idea as the song was, it was really catchy and I stumbled upon the realization that parts of my epic music store inventory piece fit it perfectly. I did some tweaking and smashed the two things together, making the epic one-man symphony overture I had been trying to make for years. It was much easier without having to worry about voices, and the result was pretty good. Toby was a fan, I got a few views out of it, but more than anything it proved to myself that this epic overture idea could produce some catchy tunes. And if you watch my feature film or the little PSA I'm using about why you should become a channel supporter, you'll recognize the tune. I did some more of these over the years, but with my easily distracted energy, I would usually give up before I saw the project to its conclusion. So now it's time for me to stretch this musical adaptation muscle and develop this skill with the same energy I put into epic inventory and epic nugget in a biscuit. But I need to keep it simple and channel the writing, practice, and performance into things that actually work on YouTube and the internet in general. This has always been kind of the problem. It's difficult to do full covers on YouTube because of copyright issues. Before I went to India, I did a medley of various types of pieces ranging from Bach to Metallica. This medley was a good choice for me because it allowed my manic energy to focus just on the climactic parts of the music that I liked. So combining my passion for epic overtures and short passages, I think I finally have found a vehicle to focus these energies. One minute micro overtures that I'll be uploading on TikTok. This month we've got The Passenger by Iggy Pop. I've worked on this before, but I kind of tweaked it and got my parts sounding better. Feeling pretty good about this. So check it out. I've uploaded it on TikTok. I've uploaded all the other places. American music this month, and I'll be uh, doing Indian music next month. It's going to be a belated holy celebration. Check back in. Until next time, let's put the rhythm and melody back into the mundane and the time and mechanics back into music because these symphonies won't write themselves and these instruments won't play themselves. Godspeed. If you weren't a kook, you would have seen this video when it uploaded. Join the lineup here on YouTube or become a patron and become a TSVIP and get early and ad-free access. See you later.